Now then guys, welcome to Strides Gaming, I'm Luke. This is The Journeyman on Football Manager 2019. I'm not too sure what episode number we're on. I think it may be 19, could be 20, I don't know. The reason why I don't know, because I've not recorded in about a week. Um, reasons why, I've been busy. And Division 2 came out over the weekend and I tried to do some recording for Division 2. I didn't like it, so that's not coming onto the channel. But anyway, so we're here with York. I've made some transfers. We've got some new guys coming in. Guys that I can't pronounce the names of. So we're going to have some fun here. So we've got first one. I think it's Julio or Julio. He's a defender. I'm not going to... I'm, yeah, not even going to attempt his uh, surname. But he's come in. 22 years of age. Spanish. Four and a half star potential. Four and a half star current ability. He's doing all right. He's not actually had a good game yet. He's only played three games for us. But he's come in from... Was it Arsenal on a free transfer? Where has he been at? He's been at Arsenal. He's been around a little bit. Originally from Barcelona. So yeah, he's he's done all right for us. And then we've got this guy on loan from Scunthorpe. He's injured though. We're not going to see him today. He's out for four weeks, two months maybe. And I tried to Google Translate his name just to let it say it out. And it came up with the translation of You Die Bully. Um, that obviously is not his name. It's Ulifer, I yeah. If anyone knows how to pronounce his name, please let me know. I think it's Ulifer. I'm going to go with an Olamonle. I'm making stuff up. It's a load of words. And then we've got Burakov, which I'm going to stick with and I'm confident with. He's a three-star, a current ability, four-star potential. Again, he's on loan from Sheffield Wednesday. They, they, these two loan ones, by the way, were my director of football which I was quite happy with. So he's brought them in. So a couple of new, well, three new transfers, which is good, which, we, which is what we need, because obviously injuries and all that, and we'll, we'll go to the injury table, because we've still got out injured. Who we got? Current injuries. Paul must be back from injury, but Kieran O'Connell is a massive miss for us, and yeah, Devi and Tate hasn't really played, but Alex as well, that's a big miss. So what have we been getting up to since you last saw us? And I don't know what it was, to be honest with you. We're still top of the league by four points. So that's that's spoilers there, isn't it? Uh, schedule, let's have a look. Was it the FA Cup match against Yeovil? It quite potentially, maybe. Was it the Yeovil match? I feel like it could have been the Yeovil and Chester match. But I'm going to go with that. So we've gone on. We lost against Fylde. We lost against Harrogate. Not good. Terrible. We then beat Torquay 2-1. We then beat Hartlepool 2-0 in the first round of the FA Trophy. And I tried to rotate the team as much as I could. We then beat Barnett 3-2. Harris getting on the score sheet. Ferguson as well. He came to me wanting to play games because he's not played much recently. So he came in and scored for us, which was nice. Always good to see. Then we have just played Halifax. It was a boring 1-1 draw. Not really much happened there. But today, we've got two big games. I say big games. Salford and 14th. They're not a big game, but it's Salford. But it's, it's the South End game. The third round of the FA Cup. And we're away, which is good. South End are in the Championship. And they are kind of rock bottom of the Championship with seven points. Morale are low with them. So hopefully, we can just nick a win off them and get into the fourth round of the FA Cup, which would be just tremendous and awesome and amazing. Finances, we've got half a million pound in the bank. We're going up. Obviously, the, the cup run does help. I am still under my wage budget. I don't know how I'm doing it, but we're still in the black for that. So things are looking good projections-wise. If we stay at York, they look like they're going to have some good times ahead money-wise, which is all good to see. We're probably going to leave at the end of the season, but it's all good to see. I'm building a future for York City for them. So, tactic. Team we're going to be lining up with against Salford. We've got Simpson in goal. Uh, is it Venone? What's his name? Victor even, isn't it? Victor, Bernard, Julio. I keep forgetting the names. Ferguson, Stevens, Deli, Stewart, Arnold, Harris and Burkov up front. I feel like... Okay, Paul is not fit yet, to be honest with you. 13 goals. He should be back. Hopefully, fingers crossed for the uh, South End game, which would be amazing because we are missing him. He is our top goal scorer. We haven't really got anyone else that's scoring that many goals. Harris is scoring goals for us. Other than that, uh, not really many. 
what is it? O'Connell was scoring. He's out injured. So we've got people coming back from injury. It's nice. Also, we've got a massive squad. I always have a big squad. I don't like releasing players for some reason. But we're going to get into this game. Submit team. To see how I get on. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice, easy win. Which would be lovely. I'm going to let the uh, assistant do that because I couldn't be bothered. Uh, play the game. We're kicking off from um, left to right. By the looks of things, playing in the white. They're playing in the reds. And we should just see how we get on. Right, first highlight is going to go to us, I believe. Unless we score an own goal. We don't. Simpson, what's he going to do with it? Plays it to Stevens, to Julio, to Ferguson. Ball over the top to Brovkov, who shoots and it goes high and wide. First chance we've seen from him. Right, here we go. We've got to throw in Victor to Stevens. Plays the ball over to Stewart, then to Ferguson. Ferguson gets the cross in. Burakov's there and he actually scores his first goal for us. When the camera's on, this is what we want to see. And look at that lead we're getting. Yes, Chesterfield still have to play. But we're starting to get a nice big gap again at the top of the table, which is good. I really want to go up and win this season just so I've got a trophy under my name. Second season in, win a trophy. Looks good on the CV, doesn't it? So I wasn't going to comment on this, but this is the highlight straight from the kickoff. It didn't end, and they're on the attack, and they have a chance, and they almost score. I, I wasn't going to comment on it. I thought it was going to, I was going to, I thought it was going to end. Obviously, it didn't. Corner to them though, and they almost get themselves back into the game. Luckily, they don't. It's still one nil. Oh, got a free kick. Victor plays it to Delhi, plays it to Harris, who tries to look for the cross, doesn't get it. Salford picked the ball up, and they are on the counter now. But Bonard's there, heads it to Delhi again. Delhi to Stevens, ball over the top to Burakov. Not really there. It doesn't reach it. We Ball just comes straight back to our defence. Julio this time to Harris. What's Harris going to do? He's going to... Mm, what was that? What a miss that was. What a miss. We've got a corner. Corner comes in. Rooney with the header. Doesn't score, thank God. All right. Throw in deep in their half. Salford have been the ones at the minute, this end of the half, looking like they're going to be grabbing a goal. Ball over the top. Rooney's there. Shoots. Luckily, he's not like Wayne Rooney. and Doesn't score. Is it Aaron, New Aaron Rooney? Is that his name? Yeah, Adam Rooney. Okay. Well, this is an interesting camera angle from a goal kick. Again, it's going to be... Oh, no. It's going to be his. Burakov picks the ball up. What's he going to do with it? Plays it to Harris. Burakov's trying to get himself back into the box. He doesn't. Outside of the edge of the area. Delhi's there. He lays it off for Delhi to shoot. He should have really done better. We've seen him do better this season and score them sort of goals. I did tell the team to show some passion. They're all fired up for that. So that's always a good thing. So half time is upon us. We are winning 1-0. Things are going well so far. I'm happy with that. What I am going to do. I'm going to take off Delhi because he's looking tired. I'm going to bring on Lemmy. I don't know what role Lemmy wants to do. Ball winning midfielder. I'm going to drop him there and make him be a ball winning midfielder. And then Stevens is a bit happier up there. That's what we're going to do. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. He should do all right and don't get himself sent off. Because I remember, I think in the last video, didn't he get himself sent off? I believe he did. Right, I'm going to make a sub. 60 minutes in. Arnold's not having a good game. I've got no one really can play for Arnold other than Harris can go over on that side. And then I can bring on Simmons on this side. What does Harris want to do when he's here? He can be a winger on that side. I hate playing with five substitutes. It does my head in. I just can't get my, my head around it. It's just, I need seven. Can't get enough players on the bench for, for five. They have themselves a highlight. But Simmons picks the ball up. Can we counter? Victor looking for the cross over the top. Isn't there. They've got a sitter here. That's definitely going to be a goal. Darren Bent has just scored for them. Darren Bent is playing for Salford. How old is Darren Bent? 35 years of age, Darren Bent is. They got him on a free last season. How much money is he on? Oh, he's gone now. I bet he's... Uh, that's annoying. We just gave that away. Victor just booted it upfield. Not to anyone. Ball over the top. And I'm going to guess it was... Uh, the defence just went there. They'll just let him through, didn't they? We have got Bernard, who's not playing very well. Have I got a defender on the bench? Uh, I'm going to bring on this guy. I can never remember his name. The new guy, isn't it? I've been calling him. But he's obviously not the new guy anymore. But he can play as a central defender, apparently. He can come off. Hopefully we don't concede a goal. So I'm just going to time to show some more passion. Fire him up, hopefully. Yeah, it did kind of work. 
So I am thinking a draw isn't a terrible thing. We're still going to be five points clear at, at the top. The team are probably thinking, <coughs> excuse me, thinking about the FA Cup game we've got next. But Burakov's in here. Is he going to score? He doesn't. He has a chance. He should have done better there. He really should have done. But maybe the team are thinking, they are looking a bit tired. They're probably thinking, we've got a big game in the FA Cup next. And they're probably just thinking about that. So that's probably why form has dropped a little bit. But Lemmy's on the ball here. What's he going to do with it? What is he going to do with it? Pass it all the way back to the keeper? No, Ferguson. That's the end of that highlight. Worrying. So there's two minutes left of this game. We are looking tired. Our conditioning isn't great. And oh, I thought Stewart scored with that header then. I really did. I think that's going to be the last chance of the game. This is a game we should have won. But a draw, I'll probably take. We're away from home. We're not meant to be challenging for the title, remember. I think it was meant to just be avoiding relegation. Burakov's there. Gets the stupid pack. There's no one there. It was a right idea, but no one kind of read his mind, really. And they've got a throw, and that's going to be the end of it. So, yeah, don't forget. I think it was meant to be originally just avoid relegation. It's now finished top half or get into the playoffs. I think that's what I've said. And we should be able to do that, hopefully. And then, no matter what, at the end of the season, I think I'm, I'm not going to... Like, leave. I'm not going to, like, quit. I'm just going to try and apply for a load of jobs above me. And hopefully, maybe, we can get something else. No one's come and offered me any jobs yet, which is... I thought we would have had some jobs offers, to be honest with you. But we're still top uh, by five points. So, if Chesterfield win, it'll only be a couple of points behind. So, it's still there. They're still doing it. Ferguson did well. Well done. He did want to play. He did, in all fairness to him, he did come to me and say, boss, I want to play football. Right. So we've got Southend United next. A game which we probably shouldn't win. And we're going to be knocked out of the FA Cup, which I'm not too bothered if we are. We're just going to go into it and just see what happens. So we're going to get straight into that game now. So guys, this is going to be the lineup for the South End game. I hit quick pick and I've made some changes. And I've made some... Probably drastic changes as well. To be, well, not drastic, but I'm, I've made some a gamble. I'm gambling. Simpson's obviously in goal. Victor's going to be out on the left. And Juno, Jano, whatever his name is, is going to be in the centre. Then with the new guy. I'm just going to name him the new guy. The new guy. There we go. There we go. The new guy. Uh, Ferguson, Lemmy, Deli, Stevens, Harris, O'Connell... And Paul Glatzel up front, who obviously is not match fit. Only 75 minutes he can play, but I feel like it is a big game. Let's go out there and give him a chance. If we're going to do anything, this is a South End that are struggling in the championship. They're rock bottom. If we get promoted... Uh, no, we're not going to be in the same league. We're going to be in League 2, aren't we? I forgot which league we were in then. But still, uh, what are we going to say? What are we going to say? We've got nothing to lose here. Yeah do that and then I'm just going to passionately say I have faith I feel like they can I feel like we can do well we're away from home we're going to be playing our pressing game but we've done all right tunnel interview how much is a boost is Luke Herman absent yeah okay don't know who that guy is but he's not in the squad so we kick off for the third round of the FA Cup um we start by playing it backwards to Simpson that's always a good start the new guy I need to learn players names properly also, we do have a corner. Also, I know... Oh, we've got a penalty. We actually have a penalty. Who's taking this penalty? Um, Harris. Yeah, we'll let Harris take it. Oh, my God. We've got a penalty in the 14th minute. Can Harris step up and score? Oh, this is going to be crazy. Come on, Harris. He does I mean score. We go 1-0 up. That's just crazy. That is absolutely crazy. But we've gone 1-0 up. What I was going to say, I know it's probably in bad taste for me nicknaming a... Their yeah, keeper should have done better. Nicknaming a guy that is actually real in real life. And so don't do it in an offensive way. Um, so if anyone does know how to pronounce it, it can teach me it. I'll change his name back. But so far, he's the new guy. South Ender straight on the attack. We've just given a penalty away our, at our end as well, haven't we? We have just given it a penalty away. There's been two penalty shots. Oh, our lead didn't last long, did it? Unless... Simpson save! Oh my God! Simpson saves it. Wow! What a game so far. We're only 18 minutes in. We've scored a penalty. They've missed a penalty. Things are going a bit too well. 
So it's half time. We're winning 1 0. We've had 60% of the possession. We've had four shots on goal, three on target. What the hell is going on here? Surely we cannot keep this up. Oh, I'm happy with your performance. I'm more than happy. Simpson on a 7.2 with that penalty save. Harris will be scoring his penalty. I don't know what to say. But this is a South End team that is struggling. We've only got seven points in the league so far. And they've probably been looking at this game as a bit of a boost to try and beat a York City team, which were in the Vanarama North. And oh, no, Vanarama League even. So we got promoted, didn't we? But it has things stand. We are doing awesome. I'm going to take off Paul because he's not doing that great. He's not fully fit. I'm going to bring on Brovkov. Um, he did score in the last game. So I feel like that's a fair... Fair sub. Just take them off a little bit early. They do have a free kick. And it goes over. And they had another chance and didn't take it. How many more chances are we going to give them? And are we going to get another chance to try and score a goal? They've got another free kick. It's going. To, I can feel a South End goal coming. And oh, there it is. Simpson, after making that amazing penalty save, probably should have done better with that. And we'll have a look at here now. Gets the cross in. The header comes in and Simpson kind of just pushes it into the post and it goes in. It's 1-1. One, one. So, show some passion, guys. We've done well so far. Oh, frustrating by passion. Shouldn't have done that. Right, I'm going to make a sub as well. I don't know who to take off. Who's not performing too great? Everyone's doing all right. Victor, though, is not doing that, that well. I don't have... Well, the new guy can probably play there. Maybe do that and then bring on Bernard. That's what we'll do. Make a defensive change, Luke, why don't you, when you're uh, drawing 1-1. So there's literally 10 minutes to go, almost. We've got a highlight here. O'Connell plays it to Stevens, who shoots. Oh, what a save that was. We've seen... Was it a save? Do we get a corner? No, we don't. But that was a fantastic shot anyway. Uh, we've got a free kick there, Jerry. Ferguson, just over. We're now getting back into the game. I don't know whether to make a, a change. That's my worry now. Do I make a change? Do you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring on Arnold. He's scored goals for us this season. He deserves to get on the pitch. Probably taking O'Connell off. He's probably one of our better players. I don't know if we get a fourth sub. If it, It's going to go to extra time by the looks of things. Unless we manage to nick a goal from somewhere. But they've got another free kick. And it goes over. Is it, is it a corner? They have a corner. Can we defend this? We do. Obviously, we're not going to see the highlights. Apparently, there's no corners involved in this game. All right. Five minutes of added time. Stevens picks the ball up. Plays it to Arnold. Plays it out wide to Ferguson. Plays it to Arnold. To Burakov. To Danny. Oh, he's offside. Why didn't Burakov just go himself? And he was offside. He picked the ball up. Was he? Oh, that's tight. That is really, really tight, that is. <sighs> right. They've got a corner. Can we defend the corner? We do. We head it clear. Not clear enough. South Ender on the attack again. But we do win it. Delhi's won this ball here. What's he going to do? He just gives it away. He just gives the ball away. He doesn't even get tackled. He just gives it away. Ferguson, ball over the top. South Ender on the attack. But Delhi wins the ball again. Can he get his pass off to Borokov? Yes, he can. We're the ones attacking. With three minutes to go. We don't want extra time. Harris tries to find the new guy. And he doesn't. Borokov's there. I thought he was going to capitalise on a chance, and now Southender on the attack, and I don't want him to score now, and oh, what a save that was from Simpson, he's having a fantastic game, don't give a penalty away, just clear it, and we do, two minutes to go, until extra time, I've just realised, it doesn't go to extra time, it goes to a blooming replay, doesn't it, and we have just taken Southend United, to a replay, to play back at home, that, it's an absolutely incredible result. I don't care. We're going to get more money from this as well. Everyone had his being today. Well done. Great. That was a fantastic result. Now, when are we going to play them? That's what I want to know. When do we play them? That's going to be a South End and Solly Hall Moors episode in the next episode i might just quickly go i've got to end the episode on the draw to whoever we're going to get next so we'll just quickly go to the draw and then we'll end the episode there so here is the draw for the fourth round of the fa cup so 
who might we get? I don't think we're going to go through. I really don't, but... <sighs> Dagnum and Redbridge and Fulham. No. Derby, no. We want a big team. There we go. We want Liverpool at, at their place. We don't get it. South End at Yorkshire. We're going to be at home if we win against Crystal Palace or Ars Arsenal. I really want to win. Playing Arsenal. Fair news, it's at home, but that would be an awesome game. So we're going to be back, guys. We're going to find out, actually. We're going to be, we're going to be playing Arsenal because Arsenal just won their game. So it is going to be Arsenal if if we manage to beat Southend. And um, that's going to be the next episode. We're going to have Southend. And then we're going to see the FA Trophy. We might as well. I've not really shown you it yet. So we're going to have Southend, FA, uh, FA Trophy, and see how we're going. We're having a crazy season this season, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm blooming enjoying it. I hope you are. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. I'll see you guys in a bit.